New information tonight, the disappearance of an 80-year-old girl in County woman. Investigators believe foul play may be involved in this case. Caregiver for Susan L. Corey explains that the woman was first reported missing last week, and that could be linked to another case. Susan? Yeah, Bob, the Garland County Sheriff isn't giving away a lot of details, but tells me there is someone who could be considered a person of interest in the disappearance of 80-year-old Betty Slaughter. Now investigators are trying to figure out whether a body found over the weekend could be related to this case. According to the Sheriff's Office, the neighbor noticed they hadn't seen Slaughter. Deputies didn't find signs of forced entry at her home off Legend Circle, but say evidence inside possibly indicates foul play. Slaughter lives alone, she's a widow, doesn't have any children, and friends tell me she mainly kept to herself, so they're wondering why she may have been targeted. She had quite a few assets, so she might have been vulnerable, you know, I'm not sure. I don't have much hope that she's still alive. Over the weekend, a body was found along a dirt road at Low Cemetery, which is about nine miles from Slaughter's home. The body was burned, so investigators are waiting for the state crime lab to identify it and tell me it's too early to rule out the possibility that the two cases are linked. Detectives were also checking security cameras from homes in Slaughter's neighborhoods, but they aren't saying what exactly led them to that possible person of interest.